So I managed to break out the fly rod and head down to the Grand River in search of some brown trout. I was really hoping to get some on top on dry flies and while the hatch wasn't awesome there was enough fish to keep me busy and the river sure didn't disappoint. Hey guys, it's Carl and today I am fishing on the Grand River and this section of the Grand River around Delora and Fergus area, it gets stocked with a lot of brown trout every year and it does have some special regulations. It's a single barbless fly fishing only section of river and it's just a great place to fly fish, especially if you're learning and don't have a lot of experience. These stalkers are pretty willing to eat flies and there's some really, really big fish too. Years and years ago, I caught a 25 inch in one section here. So there's potential for some really big fish Realistically, I'm going to be happy with catching some stalkers on top today and that's kind of my goal. I just love dry fly fishing. I like seeing them come up and, and eat flies on top and trying to figure out what they're eating. So I haven't seen a lot of bug activity just yet. So hopefully it's going to start sooner or later. I did see a couple fish come up. So there is some activity. So I just got to figure out what they're eating and hopefully we'll get into some action. So stick with me, see if we can get into some fish. Fish on. That is not a big one at all. Oh, let's get my net. Look at that little guy. Oh. Well, didn't take very long for the first one, but. Keep them wet. There we go. First fish. It is not a big one by any means. That is tiny. But it's a start. I didn't see a lot of bug activity, but little guy there. Get him back. Yes, there we go. I'm starting to see a little more activity here now. There's a few fish rising around me. Again, just little guys, little stalkers. Been but I don't see the bugs. I don't know what bugs they're after. So that first one I got on that little light Cahill fly, dry fly. So I'm gonna stick with it. Although I don't actually see anything like that on the surface, but he ate it. So we'll keep trying it. Again, these stalkers probably aren't all that clever. Hopefully we can get another one here. Right beside it, twice beside it. There we go. There we go. Another little wee guy. But that's all right. It's a fish. All right. There we go. That one hit an emerger. Let's just get this through there. So that one hit an emerger fly. A little wee guy there. Well, fish number two, so at least I'm having a little bit of action. Um, that one actually ate an emerger because I see them surfacing here and there, but I don't see any bugs on the surface. So I think they're picking them up at, off as they're starting to come to the surface. So that first one just ate a full dry, but then I've seen a little more activity lately, but again, I don't see the bug. So I just tried like a gray fox emerger and that guy ate it right away. So hopefully I'm onto something. Hopefully we'll get a few more bites. I just see one rise in there again, so I'm gonna get at it. So there's a few fish still rising in there, but it's slowed down a lot. So I'm gonna wander upstream a little bit. There's another deeper hole up there, which I've seen some big fish in before. I've never actually caught a big fish out of there, but I've seen some big fish in that run before. So I'm gonna walk up there and see if there's anything going on up there.
Yes, on. I was gonna say it was a little bigger, but I don't think so. <laughs> Can't get my net out. Get her wet. There we go. Nice. Kinda of glad I moved. Barbless fly pops right out. It's funny how you just move a couple hundred yards upstream and it's a whole different thing. There's a lot of bug activity here. A lot of little fish. I haven't seen any big ones yet, but a lot of little fish rising. Got one right away there, so yeah, maybe we're onto something here too. So there's the fly that I've been getting them on. That is a Cahill Emergers. So basically that little tuft on top stays above the water where the body and the hook will just sit below the water. And if you see that ring of like fibers, little feather fibers, that's what holds it up. So that's like the what holds floats. And then yeah, the body hangs just below the surface, just like a, a, a mayfly that hasn't quite come out yet. It's just getting to the surface where it's gonna its wings are going to come out and it's going to fly away. But yeah, that little tuft is all I really see. And then the ring around the top keeps it, keeps it afloat. So that's an emerger fly. And that's what I've got pretty much all my fish on today is on an emerger. Feels a little bit better, but not looking a whole lot better. <laughs> Still a stalker. But yeah, he ate that right away. Ooh, it's a little bitter, a little bit better. Look at the yellow fins on them. It's kind of pretty. I'll get them out here. Look at that little guy. Look at the yellow bright fins. Pretty. All right, well, I see them hitting a lot more of the full K hills, so I'm going to take the emerger off now and switch it out to a full K hill fly with wings. Or something like that. It's got yellow wings, but the body's nice and white, so that's what I'm looking for, a nice white fly like that. So yeah, we'll just see if it makes any difference. I, uh, I can always go back to the emerger afterwards if I want to, but I think I want to try the big dry. They're getting a little more aggressive, they're feeding a little more aggressive now, and they're hitting on top a little bit better. So this is a little bigger thing for them to target, and I can see it better too, because it is getting a little darker here. Fish.
fish. Nice. That's probably the best one of the day. <laughs> it's not saying much, it's still not a big one, but fat. It is definitely a big fatty. Yeah, that's a Look at that. Definitely the best one of the day. Well, I guess I'm going to call it there, but what a great afternoon I had. Got a bunch of those little stalkers on top on dry flies like that. That's always a good time, and I really, really enjoy dry fly fishing like that. I love watching them come up and eat it. So even if they're little, it was still lots of action. It's still lots of fun, and uh, yeah, just really enjoy that. It's always funny, though, how the, the, the day progresses. Your smallest fish is always first, and your biggest one is always last. It's not, it's not very often you start with your big fish first, and it goes to your little one. It always starts little and goes to bigger, but that last fish I got there, what a big, fat, healthy stalker. Hadn't been here very long, but it was fat and chunky. It had really figured out the bugs, and it had been eaten really, really well. So anyways, not the greatest fly fisherman, as you can tell, but I do enjoy it, and I'm getting better at it all the time, and I don't get here as often as I want, but yeah, I'd better get going, because I got a two-hour drive home so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you subscribe and I hope I'll see you outside